In this screencast video lecture, we are going to see the explanation for chordates and non-chordates group of animals. One of the fundamental forms of classification of the animals is based on the presence or absence of the notochord. Actually, notochord is a flexible rod that is made out of a material similar to that of the cartilage. So, based on this presence, it can be referred as a chordate and those which does not contain a notochord are referred as a non-chordates. Contrary to a popular belief, chordates do not exclusively include the vertebrates. There are certain invertebrates that possess a notochord during some point of their life and hence they are also classified under the chordate group. So, this invertebrates includes animals such as a cuticate, lanceolates. Lanceolates are certain fishes that is they feed in the very downmost part of the oceans. Thus, all vertebrates are chordate but not all chordates can be referred as a vertebrates. Next, we look at the points related to non-chordates. Non-chordates are animal without notochord which we have already seen which is a rod like elastic structure that supports the body. This phylum consists of small groups of worm like marine species with a organ system level of organization in their body. Non-chordates or invertebrates make about the vast majority of the animal species. They exhibit a wide range of body planes life cycles and ecological niches despite their lack of vertebral column. They also have developed various adaptation that allows them to thrive in diverse environments across the planet. Now, we look at some of the examples of the non-chordates. Members of the phylum porifera that includes the sponges, then the coelentrata which is also referred as a cynidaria which consists of jellyfish, corals and sea anemone, then Tenophora or comb jellies, then platyhelminthes that includes the tapeworms and liver flukes. They are commonly referred as a flat worms. Whereas the next group that is ascalminthes, which includes the round worms. Apart from that, anilida that comprise of worms like earthworms, then arthropoda that is insects and molluscans, echinodermates that contain starfish, and hemicardata which contains certain worms especially the crown worm which is referred technically as a balanoglossus. All these are falling under the category of non-chordates. Now, we look at the general characteristic features of the non-chordates. They are cylindrical animals, triploblastic in nature, coelomate or pseudocoelomate animals. Respiration in these animals will be taking place through gills, trachea or body surface. An example for respiration through body surface is the earthworms. Gills respiration is in the fishes. Trachea based respiration is for various insects. Most of the time, sexes cannot be distinguished among the members. Say they can be of a hermaphrodite in nature also. Both the sexes will be present in the same organism. Most of the reproductions involve sexual as well as asexual, which we have already seen in the previous lectures. Fertilization is usually external, though sometimes Internal fertilization is also observed in some species of non-chordates. The body of the non-chordates are generally found to contain the circulatory system belongs to open type. In this diagram, you can able to see in the right hand side different kinds of non-chordates group of animals that have been present there in the end. The details of the nine important non-chordate phyla have been available here in this particular page. This page's link I have been providing here in our learning page also. So, if you click here, you can able to get that information. Now, we look at the points related to chordates. Chordates are animals characterized by the presence of notochord at some stage during their life cycle development. Members possess hollow nerve cord as well as pharyngeal gill cells. The other characteristic features of the chordates have been shown below. Their body is of a bilaterally symmetrical nature and their germinal layers are basically of a triploblastic nature. They are coelomate organisms with organ system level of organization. A fully grown adult also found to contain a post-anal tail 
the body includes a closed circulatory system whereas in the non cardiac it's an open circulatory system in some members of phylum chordata the notochord is present only in the larval tail say for example in the members of urochordata as well as cephalochordata they are referred as a tunicates they found to have the notochord only on the larval tail and in some it is present throughout their life from head to tail region chordates have many subdivisions and protochordate are one of the earliest form of a chordate that have been evolved the phylum chordata is divided into three subphyla that is urochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata vertebrata is a larger subphylum which we will see in detail later now we look at the points related to the subphylum urochordata it is also referred as a tunicata which includes mainly the marine animals body of these animals are surrounded by a leathery covering and larvae are a free swimming in nature the notochord is present only in the tail of the larvae whereas when larvae is grown and they start settling there in the seabed they get transformed into a sessile adults that is that particular notochord has been completely vanish and the adults have become sedentary organism they cannot able to move from one place to another they are generally hermaphrodites in nature that is both the sexes have been present there in the same animal example for the organisms that comes under this urochordates includes ascidians dolium as well as oikoplura the next subphylum is cephalochordata it mainly consists of small fish like marine animals in which the notochord is extended along the entire body the animals also have a pharynx which is large with numerous gill slits will be present members of the subphylum have their sexes separate that is they are not hermaphrodite meaning separate male and female animals will be present the last one is a subphylum vertebrata in this subphylum the notochord is present in the embryonic stages and it is replaced by vertebral column in the adult they have two three or four chambered heart and paired appendages for locomotion and kidneys for excretion or osmoregulation